Hey guys, what's going on? Brad Scott here with BradScottVisuals.com and today I'm editing a bunch of stock photos uh, I shot in San Francisco with my friends Parker and Allie. Um, great couple, awesome models to work with. And uh, today I wanted to show you a technique I've been using um, just for like touching up skin and stuff called frequency separation. Uh, I think it's the best way to get an overall nice smooth look to the skin without going overboard and like making it look all blurred out or too much like a porcelain doll. Um, I think it's definitely the most natural nice looking way to edit skin uh, and touch up portraits. So um, we're gonna edit this photo of Allie not that she needs to uh, be touched up at all her skin's pretty much flawless already uh, but I just want to show you how to kind of even out skin tones um, and get rid of any uh, any type of blotchiness in the skin. So what we're going to do for frequency separation is we're going to start out with the background image and we're going to duplicate it twice. So just drop it down to a new layer here and then just do the same thing right there. And we're going to go up to this second layer. Make sure you um, make the top layer unvisible and we're gonna do filter blur and Gaussian blur and you basically just wanna make it to where it's just enough to get rid of any type of um, sort of imperfections in the skin or just smooth out the skin to where it's looking like that I'll zoom in a little bit just so you can see what I'm doing here So you can see it's not too much of a blur, just a little bit. We're going to press OK. Now it's not going to look like this, don't worry. Um, her face isn't going to be all blurry. This is just part of the step, okay? So next thing you want to do is you want to make this other layer visible. Select it. And you're going to go to Image and Apply Image. And what we want to do is we want to select under Layers here, we want to select this second copy down here so um, that's the background copy you're gonna click subtract so this is basically almost like a high pass filter um, and then these are the numbers you're gonna use for scale and offset uh, these are just the numbers that work every single time uh, so you don't need to change these at all this is some somebody came up with these numbers and they work great so um, opacity 100 scale 2 offset 128 okay and you're just gonna press OK on that now the next thing you wanna do is you wanna with this top layer selected you wanna click the blending mode to linear light and basically that's just gonna make it come out and look exactly like it has been before so we're not done yet uh, I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit more and what we're gonna be doing is just I mean it's kind of hard to even tell with this photo because she's got very smooth skin already but we're just gonna be going over sections like this just where there's a tiny bit of like redness to the skin and we're just going to um, be taking care of that and basically what we just did with that frequency separation is we have created a texture layer so this is all your skin texture and then we've created a color tones layer so this is going to be the one that we'll be working on okay now we want to select the lasso tool here and you want to make a feather of about 32 pixels or so if you don't feather it it's just going to be like a harsh line that's going to look like crap so you want to feather it right around 30 to 35 pixels and what we're going to be doing is just selecting like areas and you want to kind of stick with rather large areas so I'm going to do like the forehead right here and go to filter blur and Gaussian blur and you just want to select I usually go around 10 or so depending on the photo but as you can see if I do the preview on and off it's just smoothing out the skin really nicely, okay? Could probably go a little less than that even. 
If it looks like it's too much when you're done, you can just lower the opacity. So I'm going to stick with about 10. And then as a shortcut, I can just select it again in a different area and click Control F. And that's going to do the same thing. So I'm going to just select this little cheek area. I'm going to leave that little freckle in there, a little beauty mark. You don't want to get rid of that. Control F is going to do the Gaussian blur again. And I'm just going to get this little section here. Control F. And let's get the cheek right here. Kind of jawbone. And let's go down this section. The bridge of the nose. And you can see it's just smoothing it out really nicely, evening out those skin tones, getting rid of any redness. Okay, uh, let's get this section right here. You want to kind of select like part, so there's a nice little highlight in that section. So you just want to select that together. Uh, I can kind of get this little area here. I need to do a bigger area. There we go. Smooth that out. Kind of do this section right there. And over here. So you just want to work your way down the image. And just selecting pretty large areas on the face, okay? Let's do that one. Smooth that out. And then work your way down to this area right here. Get this over here. And then the chin. As you can see, it just smooths everything out. Looks, looks really nice and retouched. And then if you want to do any texture editing, you can do the same thing. Uh, or you can just grab like the healing brush tool and select an area you want it to look like on the texture. And just do that. Select. I think I was, there we go. That would be better. Deselect that spot. And so you can see there's like a tiny little scar right there. You can get rid of that right there and as you can see now that is like flawless flawless skin uh, if you wanted to I could do like the neck and everything I'm gonna leave it uh, it's pretty much m mainly just her faces in focus okay and then if we zoom out you can tell it just looks like she has perfect skin it doesn't look too retouched or anything it just looks very natural and in my opinion, that's the best way to touch up skin. I uh, hope that helped you guys. Let me know if you have any questions at all. Uh, I'll be doing a tutorial on how to make the eyes pop. I've already done it in this photo. And also how to like whiten and brighten up the teeth. Um, so let me know if you want me to do that tutorial or not. And if you have any questions whatsoever, just let me know in the comment section below. Remember to like this video and then subscribe to my channel for more photography and Photoshop tutorials. Thanks guys.